Okay, cool. So I just wanted to do um, a quick tutorial on the 4.4 and this is the SX version. Um, I much prefer this version over the OG 4.4 because um, of the copy feature that it has. Um, I used to have a 555 as well, which is really nice because it's got that lovely looper, which is really cool. Um, and more pads and they're velocity sensitive, but the 4.4 SX um, is battery powered as well so it's absolutely amazing just to ch chuck in your backpack if you're going somewhere or you can easily just do um, a little bit of a gig on uh, this small device um, I'm just gonna make a little bit of a beat and um, using the resample method um, and hopefully show you some ideas of kind of um, how um, how you can use that to create um, something quite quickly basically um, so I've got a sample here um, I'll play that in bit um, in full I've got a kick drum sample uh, snare and a little ride so this is the basic ingredients everything else is empty um, so first things first I'm just going to show you how to chop up a sample now um, the loop that I've got is quite nice but ultimately I want to kind of shorten it and so what I could do is uh, kind of time stretch it ultimately um, and that has its own specific sound that people love about the 4-4 some people hate um, uh, and it just depends on how you want to if what how whichever way you want to do this um, I'm just going to do the chop up method and the chop up method um, has another problem um, if you do that and I'll show you how to kind of uh, smear that a little bit I suppose is the best way to do that okay so I've got the sample I'll play it out in full <laughs> Uh, quite a nice sample. Um, I actually got that from Splice. Um, nowhere affiliated with it, but it does have some nice samples on it, um, especially for uh, looped stuff, for chopping and stuff like that. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that and paste it. Now, this is my this is what um, I really love about the SX is um, that's copy and paste feature, which really helps you kind of chop up um, a bigger sample into smaller chunks. So I'm just going to go function copy, select the pad that I want, select where it's going to go and press record and it will copy into this pad. OK, I'm just going to repeat that because there's four chords there, although the last two chords are pretty similar, if not the same. Um, but I'm just going to do that anyway. So I'm going to copy that over. OK, so that's copied over. Now I'm going to set mark points. Um, for each of these samples. Now the first one, because the sample, the, the mark point is going to be right from the start, what I need to do is hold down mark and then when I press it, I can let go of the mark and then uh, press mark again and that will be, um, and that will give me the end point. So I'm going to hold down mark to start off with, I'm going to mark this up. Okay, so I've got that sample there. So now I'm just going to quickly go across and repeat the same thing. Um, the second sample, obviously, I'm the chop starts later, so I just need to play the sample, then tap in mark for my start, then tap in mark again for the end. Okay, there you go, and I'll repeat the process. Nice, and the last one. Uh, now the last one, I don't need to tap an end point because it just plays to the end, so that's absolutely fine. Um, so here's the first one. So there's a little bit at the end um, that I just need to, there's a bit of a click, we'll listen to that again. There's a bit of a click at the end, um, so I'm going to shorten that. Now one of the really um, top tips about kind of taking the end points down. If this is a really long sample, it would take me quite a while to get to the end to then trim it. What you can do, which is really cool, is you can use the reverse. So if I play this from reverse, I'm now playing it from the last bit backwards. And so you can hear when I press that button, there's a bit of the end that I don't want. So now if I go into my start and level bit, there you go. I can, yeah, I can trim that back now. So when I play it now in in forward, I cut that end out. Now I could have gone start level, put it a bit, played it from start to finish and stuff like that, and um, which would have worked, of course. But it was quicker me just doing that. I'm going to do the same with this one. He's a little bit there as well. You can hear. 
no. Do, do, do. So I'm just going to do that. There we go. Take a bit off there. That's cool. Do the same with this one. A bit there as well. Uh, start level, sorry. It's pretty good. And I don't need to do that one for this one. Uh, that's in reverse. Excellent. The reason I've chopped this up is ultimately you could, uh, you know, do a different variation if you wanted. Um, which might be good if you wanted to do kind of a B section or something like that, or like a... Or something like that. Um, I'm going to use the phrase in exactly that same way, but I'm going to slow it down. And so one of my uh, tips, I suppose, uh, one of my things is like I like to do is uh, just put some reverb on. So reverb is on number one, so I can hold down MFX, tap one, um, and the reverb is affected on. If I hold down the remain button now, I can see which pads have the effect on, and it's number two, and I just select all of them, the ones, these ones that I want. Okay, so we can hear that reverb now. I think that's probably a bit too big, so I'm just going to change the, the wet-dry amount there. That's quite nice. Maybe dial it down a little bit. That's quite nice. Um, I'll just dial it down a little bit more. Um, excellent. So what I'm ultimately going to do now is I'm going to resample this to a new pad. Um, and so if I press um, resample um, and record, I'm now going to resample that here. Here we go. Um, put to a pad, press record, and then I can uh, play the pads. Excellent. Um, I always like to leave a little bit um, of silence at the end of when you resample. Because um, sometimes if you're quick with your stopping the record, you can make the loop uh, a bit too short and then you have to do it again. But this should be enough. Now I can mark it up. So I'll do the same. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, so it's ultimately the beat's probably going to sound something like this. Uh, brilliant. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to take this off loop for when I resample, because otherwise um, it's going to be quick to come around again. And, and I want to remain, keep a little bit of silence at the end for when I resample. Um, so I'm going to put this in resample mode, click my sample, click record, and I'm going to do uh, record the beat over the top of it. So here we go. OK, so I didn't like that. Um, I came in a bit too late, so I'm just going to click on that, delete that. And I'm going to try that again. Okay, brilliant. Um, I'm just going to mark that up. Brilliant. Uh, excellent. Um, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to um, I'm going to resample this one and just add this this uh, this right simple. So I'm just going to add that. Uh, Set the sample. Press record. Ah, see, now I forgot that that was now on loop, as you can hear there. So it, it looped around. Um, never mind, I can put that in reverse and see if I can get rid of that. Uh, a little bit, but that's fine. I'll just mark it up. Um, never mind. little bit if I press reverse and there's a, there's a little bit of that next uh, the start of the next loop so I'll just take that off Something like that. Cool. Um, excellent 
Also, what I like to do is uh, resample the with uh, with an effect, for example. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put an effect on this one, and I really like to use um, the wah wah. So I'm just going to dial this in. Um, turn the resonance down. Give myself a decent. Uh, dial in a rate that I, I like that's appropriate to the pad and then um, now I'm going to um, resample that with the effect on and probably a variation of a beat um, so I'm gonna um, click on that and press record um, let's go <laughs> Uh, on that one, I have a little bit of a silence, so that's fine. So I'll mark this one up. Nice. Okay. I'm going to leave that now. Um, so I've got my four, kind of four parts. Obviously, you can have more. Um, I've got an extra pad here on this bang, but you can, the, again, the great thing with the SX, S, the SX, sorry, is you can, um, you know, paste to another bank and stuff like that. So you can start, you can really build up more complicated um, stuff. I'm just going to keep with the four um, here because I quite like that. Um, um, so kind of what you would do is uh, now if you wanted to kind of make this, and make this a bit of a performance, I suppose, is um, put the effects on all the pad and then use some of these ones. Now, obviously, the, the effects looper is uh, one of the classic sounds, uh, classic effects um, from the 4-4 the, the four, four and the 5-5-5. Five, five, five. Um, so I'm just going to hold down remain. I'm just going to press on the DJ effects looper um, and that means the effects are applied to every pad that has a sample on now. Um, oh, crazy. Um, I'm going to set this to, um, there we go, some amount. Um, so, cool. Um, brilliant. And so you would probably just kind of jam it out something like this, I suppose. Uh, cool. So hopefully that's given you uh, a bit of an idea how to use res the resample method. Um, I much prefer the resample method. Um, the pattern uh, pattern sequence is pretty cool, but the problem is with the pattern sequencer is um, as you skip through patterns, it doesn't actually retain um, the memory of the the BPM that you've set. So that means that if you are performing live and stuff like that and you've got certain samples that need to be of a specific 
uh, BPM when you switch between them it can be a bit strange because uh, samples kind of run into each other and stuff like that um, the resample method is just quite quick um, in that respect but you know props to the sequencer it's still pretty cool as well um, hopefully that gives you a few ideas how to use that how a bit of a chop up a sample um, and kind of use the effects and kind of build up something um, from from a little bit few little ideas actually build up a little bit of a beat um, hopefully I'll make some more uh, videos um, on this little device um, probably some more beat videos and stuff like that um, it is a cool little device um, for this kind of stuff um, but hopefully I'll be posting up some videos perhaps of uh, using the 4-4 in, in different ways and stuff like that or maybe going into more detail um, anyway hopefully you found this uh, video um, uh, helpful in some way or form if you're just getting one or if you're just deciding to get um, one of them um, and um, hopefully you've got some uh, nice ideas from this okay thank you yeah.